Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior Online where we are playing the Battle Master. Yes, the Battle Master. Haven't been playing that thing in a while, it wasn't really a top tier mech. Still isn't, but it got buffed. And I am having a great deal of fun playing that thing today because, yeah, it has some benefits now. I'm gonna go for the Battle Master 1G and I'm here in the store because I quickly want to show you something. We now have a ballistic cooldown quirk of negative 15%. But we are not utilizing the ballistics, what's more important is the missile quirk that we got. Negative 20% cooldown is really good and we have a negative 10% heat quirk, which means we can fire our missiles very, very fast and without that much heat problems. We also have a reg regular range boost of 10% and then another 10% range boost for our medium lasers, which makes our regular medium lasers kind of extended range medium lasers, which means that we can shoot at mid-range without the need of uh, more heat or heat management, and uh, with a better cool, cool down compared to the extended range ones, which is really great. And then, you know, we got a bit of armor, which is also quite helpful. The build, by the way, was sent in from a patron, uh, patron on Patreon, so thank you for the suggestion. However, I modified the build slightly because I thought I could make it a little bit better. The initial build was coming with a light engine 370 and just six medium lasers and an MRM-40, but I was like, you know what? I don't need speed that much. I'm gonna drop it down to a 325 and add another large pulse laser to the arm. So the idea is again revolving around the medium laser barrage and then we have that single big missile launcher that really benefits from a lot of these cooldown quirks. And this thing has 81 damage alpha strike and it fires fast, it fires often, and it can really be a very good DPS close to mid-range assault mech. You will see that in the games. It pumps out damage left and right. Really cool. The light engine 325, I would say, is, is good enough. We are still running 61.9 kph for an 85 toner. That's pretty good. And the cool thing is we have these massive armor quirks on the arms, which we can use as shields. When you take a look at the Battle Master, you can see the arms actually cover a big portion of the upper torso. So whenever you are uh, taking a lot of return fire after you have fired your shot, just twist in, shield with your arm, preferably this one here, the left arm, which is only filled with a bunch of double heat sinks, and then go back to cover, wait for your cooldown to be ready, and then twist in and shoot again. That's the whole torso twist uh, movement that you should actually practice. Now, in terms of skill build, I was going all offense today. I wanted to deal as much damage as possible. Therefore, you can see the firepower tree is filled with good chunks of heat gen, good chunks of um, cooldown, and of course, we got the high explosive, missile spread, and missile rack skills for our MRM, as well as the laser duration skills, because those are our main weapons. I'm not going for anything defensive here. If you like, you can do it, but I just wanted to max out offense and cooling so I can, again, play the role as a DPS brawler. Therefore, again, maximum cool run, maximum heat containment, 60% rate of deprivation for defensive maneuvers. I don't know if it's needed because usually when I'm in the fight, I want to finish it and staying there and not, you know, do the whole peeking thing. But it could be nice to have. So this is not necessarily mandatory, but again, take it if you like it. We also got double cool shot to keep the mech going while we are in a fight. And I'm also running a double artillery build today because I want to be able to deny the enemy areas. So I want to kind of herd them into a spot where I want them. Look, the first the game, guys, it's glorious. And then uh, I want to go in and destroy them. Uh, of course, you can deal damage with it. But um, more importantly, sometimes it's to, again, just drop it where it's visible and then move around while the enemies are backing up, waiting for the artillery strike. And then you come around in the flank and uh, shoot them by surprise. That's the build, everybody. Wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, and don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Hibernal Rift. We are playing Skirmish and we have ECM. Okay, where does that come from? Probably from somebody behind us. I think I saw a Blood Asp earlier. So yeah, let's uh, move up with the Atlas. We are an Assault Mech, so we're probably gonna do our Assault Mech duty. Sticking somewhat to the front line, but this is not a mech that you would throw against an enemy firing line. It has really bad hitboxes when it comes to your side torsos, and it doesn't have the most armor in the world. So let's give our Atlas body the front line, the tip of the spear, and we're gonna support him though. Uh, unless, you know, the battlefield uh, tights are going in a different direction. Let's see. But again, uh, I think in the first phase of the game, I wanna stay somewhat close to my big bad boy here. And by the way, at this point, I wish I had a PPC on my arm instead of a large pulse laser. Keep moving, buddy, keep moving. There's not much we can... Actually, there is a lot we can do. Yep. A little bit of um, medium-range missile damage. Uh, we got a long-range missile build on the Warhammer. And we definitely intimidated the guy who was peeking down there. 
Still, we are relentlessly marching to the front line. We're gonna watch this window here. Enemies on the left side, good to know. Can we peek or is this covered? Seems like it's not covered, so we're gonna stay here. Uh, should we hold left side, Charlie 3? Low ground? I think the answer is yes. I'm gonna drop Adi right there. Delay their movement a bit because they won't push into it. And give my team time to establish a firing line. Okay. So, Adi does nothing except for, again, intimidation. That is what I wanted. And now we're gonna stay here and have a good... That's my attack, all right. Have a good time. Enemy Atlas inbound. You know what? I wanna peek this. I wanna hold left side, guys. I wanna hold left side, don't push. All right, another Adi strike right on the face of this guy. We didn't get hit. That's great. Just hold it here, guys. The enemies are pushing back because... Pulling back, actually. Because of what we did with the artillery. And another excellent alpha strike without even taking return fire. I want to stay here. This trade is definitely in our favor. Still, guys. There are still some guys. Yeah, now I'm getting hit because I'm the guy peeking. But if he wants to counter peek, so be it. Lots of long-range missiles on the enemy's side. I mean, they know that we are here. Is peeking a good idea? Stalker is pushing forward, so we're gonna... We're gonna keep the peeker's advantage? No? No? Why not peeking? We're gonna pull back. All right. So let's go for center. Center of the map seems to be a good idea right now. Just pulling back, chilling. My Atlas is doing things up here. I'm gonna support him. Let's go. Okay, seems we have people in the center. Let's reinforce here. All right, Atlas is going. The Dire Wolf is half down. Let's get him. Get that side torso, please. And we got it. Nice. Very good. Um, Yeah, these guys are trying to find an angle on us, but they are not getting it. My people are holding it. I love that. Let's go for just an MRMP. Oh, he shut down. He shut down. He shut down. Let's punish. I know my large laser is not really doing anything there, but that was good. And the cooling is incredible, by the way. So, stalker down. The dire wolf half dead. Yet again, we're gonna kill him. Nice. All right, let's go through the center. Yeah, it's, it's me again. And the Nova is very damaged. Cool. Uh, wait, Atlas is actually going? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. All right, didn't think you would. I read your movement a little bit wrong. But yeah, we are going through the center now, guys. Follow up, please. We need your help. Great. Let's talk to the team, hoping that they are doing the right thing. Okay, so we got that guy. He is running away from us because he realizes that he is about to die and he's down. Nice. Uh, let's go for Annie. Who shot is out? Annie half down. Annie is down. Let's kill the actual Nova and this is where we're gonna win now. Perfect. All right. So I guess this is the point of enemies dying completely. I want to deal some more damage. I shouldn't. All right, let's go with the MRMs. They are kind of cold. I, I'll eat your damage happily. Okay, some chain firing. And we even got the kill. Get out of here. Beautiful game, guys. Absolutely fantastic. I love it. Get some more damage on the Thunderbolt. Be behind him. Come on. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. I'm in your back and you are down. Beautiful. Teamwork. Uh, par excellence. Like, seriously. That was so good. So, let's see what we got. I'm gonna let Atlas push forward. What's your status, buddy? 47%? I mean, I'm at 82. I can definitely take some beating. And uh, if you want to survive, you better stay with me. Oh, that was so good. I really love that he initiated the push and we could get something done there. Uh, people saying something, something, Charlie 3. All right. Uh, I, I don't know where they are, actually. They are, I think there was a laser beam for a second. Ah, something, something Thanatar. Seemingly a stealth build. Maybe something Gaussy in the outskirts. What's that? It's down. That's good. All right, let's see if we can actually snatch that guy. Maybe he's getting drawn. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a thing. This is a thing that's dead. Huh. Where did he go? Nobody has low signal, so we don't know where he is. We have nobody close to him. Let's wait for better weather. <laughs> yes, right. Um, sure, high ground. High ground is good ground. Oh, I hear a shot. Oh, he got my Warhammer, buddy. That's interesting. This is where he died. So he's down there in the Charlie 1 area, I guess. Let me see. Warhammer also had low signal, so he should be somewhat close. 55% on the Black Knight. Ah, that's an explosion on the Thanatos. And can we get the kill? Can we, can we, can we? 
Ah, uh, that's another side torso down. And we got it in the end. Sorry for the steal, but hey, I needed to. Guys, that was an amazing game. I love that we held the line and didn't rotate around in circles. That was so good. And when it came to the push, we actually made it happen. Holy crap, we dealt a thousand damage with three killing bellows. We got six assists, five kill most damage dealt, and a thousand damage done. That's insane. Seven components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Crimson Straight. We are playing Skirmish. And honestly, I kind of want to go to the tunnel. Maybe we can get a nice DPS brawl down there. And my mech is definitely made for that. So we can take a bit of a beating. We have good amount of damage and uh, rate of fire. And our medium lasers actually have a good range for the tunnel. So let's do that and hope for the best. Hoping that, you know, people are coming with us. Hoping that there is support. I just wonder... Why are our light mechs not moving in the back? Oh, now they start moving. Okay, cool. So, we got a Blood Asp, an Atlas. Uh, it's the same Atlas as before. Nice. And uh, an Arctic Wolf, Vapor Eagle, Stalker. Seems good. You guys want to go to the tunnel? Question mark? Anybody? Yes? No? Maybe? No response? Aw. All right. Oh, my mic's muted. My mic's been muted the whole time. Um... All right, all right, all right. Let's quickly change that. Go to settings. Go to audio. Go to capture device. Capture device is my Yeti, 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 Yeti. Where's my Yeti? Here's my Yeti. All right, save it. Thank you. Okay, so a little bit of running into a wall. Does it work now? Nice. So I'm going to go to the tunnel. So that's just the thing that I wanted to say. Atlas is coming as well, and we are going in. All right, so what do we see? Our Stalker is already on the fire. It's not taking too much damage, which is okay. We got a Blood Asp here. All right, all right, all right. We go for Heat Vision because it helps us see better. Uh, but we got to be careful. Clumping up the tunnel too much is not advised. All right, let's do it. Oh, he took a big amount of damage. Other guy coming? Uh, let's stay on target. I am happy to absorb a bit of damage. Okay. Uh, stay on the Blood Asp if you can. Uh, or Highlander, or what it is? I don't know. Okay, push in, push in. They are retreating. Let's go. On the Corsair Center Torso. Ooh, I'm taking a bit of damage. Shooting randomly into the fray. Now I'm gonna pull back. This is too much for me. At the same time. We got progress here. That is so much progress. Um, he, Are they still going for it? I don't know. Atlas is going. Okay, Atlas buddy. It's time to repay. And go for it. You must be dead by now. How much damage should we put into that blood uh, Corsair? Corsair needs to go. Delta. He's almost down. Um, there we go. On the blood ass. And uh, the fleas are skirmishing about as well. Oh my god. This is so good. And we got him. Alright, side entrance. Let's go. Atlas is pushing. Is he though? Alright, don't push out. It's a trap, they say. Uh, can you distract them somehow from above? Anyway, we're pushing, pushing, pushing. Let's go. Let's do it together. We have four and zero. This is it. Get that Nova down. Let's go to regular vision again. And this is gonna be such an amazing fight here. All right. Who's that? That's another Corsair 7A. These missile bolts. I'm on the Corsair Kilo. Uh, Anti-missile bolts, that is. Uh, he's running some AMS. But yet again, we have our little guys that are doing the job just fine. I do ignore the artillery strike. Yeah, that was not a good shot, but I didn't want to hurt my friends. There we go. We got that guy as well. That is crazy. Coordination, guys. Coordination wins games. I do like the fleas, honestly. They're so helpful. They're actually stirring some chaos in this whole situation. Um, all right, Stalks. What about you, buddy? It's a catapult, actually. It's not a stalker. All right. Got him. There we go. That's amazing. Man, seven and two. Keep it going, guys. We are not done with those dudes yet. They are so, so spread. That was so good. We over overrun, like, three enemies easily. And then came back and, and dealt with the rest. So good. Okay. Let's get some more missiles on this dude. Doesn't matter because they are dead already. So good. Man, teamwork. And you could see, this is a great example of armor sharing. I took the brunt of the damage early on. Then I pulled back. The Atlas stepped in my place, being fresh. 
the enemies in the meantime being so hot because of the fight that we have fought um so that they couldn't easily kill the atlas in return and i was still up and running shooting all of my weapons so this whole mech cascade that is happening there kind of gave us the win i believe well done friends i'm so so happy about this game so let's take a look we dealt 844 damage sorry for the team damage but it was a messy fight uh we got two kmdds with nine assists and uh we got one no two components destroyed that my friends was your daily dose for today i hope you enjoyed it and if you did as always don't forget to leave a rating thanks for the suggestion on patreon if you also want to become a patron link is down below in the description and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye